today I'm going to demonstrate what's known as a lamination fold. So it's popular among home bakers. Um, commercial bakers don't really do it so much. I have oiled my table with um, olive oil and my table is about three and a half meters long. So I'm going to just tip out my dough. Um, so it's the final fold of my sourdough. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start stretching it out and try and get it as thin as I can. The idea is to get as much air into the dough when it's folded and to fold it up almost like lamination, as if you're laminating the dough. So this is its uh, fourth stretch and fold. So as you can see, it's very, very extensible. So this piece of dough is around six, uh, it's about six and a half kilos. And as you can see, I'm able to stretch it almost the full length of the table without tearing it. So maybe a little bit at the end. So I stretched it out almost to three meters here. A small bit of tearing on the end because I was just a little bit rough with it. I'm going to lift the camera in a second and I'm just going to show you the length of it. So you just see here how nice and stretchy this dough is. Very elastic. So if we go the length of the table, you can see it's almost three and a half meters length of the table. So I've literally just stretched it out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start lamination. So I'm gonna lift this and I'm gonna fold it up as though we were making puff pastry. Just move the camera a little bit closer. And we'll go down to the other end and do the same. So just to give you a look at that. So I've just lifted in both ends. I'm gonna come in again another bit. Do another layer of lamination. And again, this side. So you can see it's very much like a, a fourfold puff pastry, very airy. Lots of bubbles in there. Now I'm just gonna fold this guy in. Fold this guy in. And fold this in again. You can see how lovely and airy and light the dough is. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's going to make some really nice sourdough later on. So I'm just going to put it back for its book. fermentation and into its uh, container. We'll come back in two hours and we'll just check and see how it how it has uh, matured. Looking forward to processing this now. It feels really light and airy. Here we go. My second dough, <laughs> lamination fold. So I'm just going to empty it out onto the table. And again, you can just see how nice and relaxed it is. So I'm literally just going to start stretching it, making it longer and wider, taking up the full length of the table if I can. So I'm just going to coax it out little by little. So by shaking the dough, just getting air underneath it as well. Now I did put a little bit of olive oil underneath to stop it from sticking. So it's almost like a sheet, look, if I shake it, it's like a sheet on a bed. You 
these fine, beautiful air bubbles in it. See? Excellent. And the whole idea about this um, lamination fold is it's supposed to make the inside structure and texture lighter and even more airy in your sourdough loads. Just continuing to stretch it out now. So I'm gonna come in under. Just try not to tear it, but still stretch it as far as I can go. So here, it's a little bit back under in the middle here. So I'm just gonna continue to wiggle it on the table. Now, just a word of caution. When you put your dough out onto the table like this, it cools very rapidly. So when you're finished with the lamination fold, you need to put it back into a warm area or a warm place. Because uh, especially if you were using stainless steel, the stainless steel table is very cold and it takes a lot of the heat and the energy out of your sourdough. There we go. You can see we have another fine, large piece of dough. Just go here, you can see all the bubbles, all the lovely natural fermentation. See it there? So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna start folding and laminating. So I'm gonna just start here, just lift it up and fold it. I'm going to go to the far end and do the same. And one more time. And we'll meet in the middle. There we go. So just to give you a look at that again. It's almost like making puff pastry. Okay, I've done two folds to get it into the center like that. You can see the olive oil glistening on, this, on the surface of the skin. And then I'm just going to fold this guy in. Fold it in, fold it in, I'm finally going to give it almost like a three turn, there you go, you can just see how lovely and lively the dough is, it's glistening there in the light, lots of air, lots of bubbles trapped in there, so I'm going to leave that aside, I'm going to ferment it for two hours final bulk fermentation before I shape it. You can see it there, it's absolutely gorgeous, glistening. Okay, the sunshine. There we go. Loads of nice bubbles. Air has been trapped. So that is a lamination fold, guys. Here's the dough two hours after. You can see it's very bubbly. That absolutely fabulous. So here's the dough after two hours. You can see it's absolutely fabulous, very bubbly. Look, really, really nice. Look at that. Beautiful.